Okay, brother. This has been a, a pretty lengthy series. And the title again is uh, From Birth to Eternity. And what we've done is we've taken it from the time someone has come out of their mother's womb uh, and, and then uh, confessed their sins and called to Jesus for uh, their salvation. Now, born against a child of God, and then they had the spiritual struggles for their whole life, and then they had their ministry, and they grew and matured to varying degrees as Christians, and then they left their body, they died, and their soul left their body. This is the point we're at right now. Now, so they're in eternity. Yes. And every person, whether they are a believer or an unbeliever, when they die, they're going to get judged. If you do not believe on Jesus Christ for your salvation, then you go to a place called the Great White Throne Judgment, and there you're just going to get sentenced because they're already guilty of their sin, and they're just going there to receive their sentence in hell. Uh, but you and I, brother, will never go to that judgment <laughs> yeah. because we've been washed clean with the blood of Jesus Christ, and, and Jesus covered us with His righteousness. In the eyes of God, we have no sin. So we don't have to get judged for our sin and sent to hell. We're going to go to a different judgment. It's called the judgment seat of Christ. The being seat. Yes. And let's read some verses about that now. Okay. Second Corinthians 5.10. Verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body, according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Okay, the judgment seat of Christ, Frank and Luke, we're going to go and get judged for everything we've done since we got saved. Everything we did before we got saved, has the good things have no value. The sins are all forgiven. Okay, So the point is, when you were 19 years old and you got saved, the clock started ticking right then for your ministry. Everything you've done for, for Jesus' sake until you died is going to be judged. That's, and, and whether it's good or bad uh, is going to be judged. Now, you're not going to be judged to determine if you're going to heaven or hell. You're already in heaven. Okay? You're going to be judged based upon rewards that you get because of your ministry. Remember, Christians, every Christian has a ministry. Whether you realize it or not, we've all got ministries. But the question is, how productive is your ministry? This has nothing to do with salvation. Nothing to do with salvation. And if you're at the great white throne judgment, you're there because you didn't trust Christ as your Savior. Exactly right. Exactly right. And they're going to be uh, sentenced for all their sins. Okay, now let's go to 1 Corinthians 3, 11-15. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Okay. Wow, that's pretty exciting. Okay. Uh, the last, let's start that, with that verse from the end and work our way backwards to it instead. The last thing in that verse, what, what do you get out of that? Um, it, what I get out of this is that this has nothing to do with your salvation, uh, this, this judgment here. It says, if any man's work um, shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, um, but he himself shall be saved. Okay, so you and I, because we trusted Jesus as our Savior, we have forgiveness of our sins, we're going to go to that judgment and... Um, Everything we did in our ministries is going to be put into a fire. And it says we built on this foundation. The foundation is what? Christ. Jesus Christ is the foundation. That's the first step right there. We need Him for our salvation. And then we build on that our ministry. What did we do for Jesus during the rest of our life? Now it says that some of these things are called wood, hay, and stubble. What do you think that is? 
I um I would think that the wood, hay, and stubble um, would be uh, stuff that's going to be burnt up. Yeah. You put that in a fire, it's burned up, right? Yeah. So the wood, hay, and stubble are things that Frank and Luke did after they got saved that God placed no value on. Either things that were not for the Lord, or maybe we did them for the Lord, but our intentions, the motivation in our heart was not what God proves of. Yeah. So for whatever reason, God says that's wood, hay, and stubble, it's burned. Okay? And then what's left out of our ministry to survive that fire? What is it? Um, it's gold. Uh, precious stones. Gold, silver, precious stones. Okay. These so, crowns. Yes. So everything that you've done since you were 19 years old until you die, the things God places no value on is burned up, and everything He values, He's going to. It, it's cut. It's um, described as gold, silver, precious gems, and crowns. These are rewards the Christian gets. That's right, Christians. We don't we don't work for our salvation, but all the work we do in our ministries, God has rewards waiting for us. Now, for me personally, uh, my motivation for my ministry is not for rewards. When I found out that I was going to get rewards, I thought, well, that's great. That's icing on the cake. But the real motivation for me is I just love. Jesus. I just want to talk about Jesus. I just want to serve Jesus. And I want to please Him. And I, I also care about the lost people. I want them to get into heaven. Uh, but then I'm also going to get rewards for this too. Well, that's, that's wonderful. What, how do you look at all that? I, you know, uh, knowing who Jesus is, knowing what He's done for me, is what drives me to, to uh, go out there and, and just share this good news. I, I mean, even without the rewards, mm -hmm. I, I just want to go out there and, and just share all about Him. I mean, I what 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 He left to come down here to rescue me, and and what He He did here on the earth, dying on that cross for my sins and, and rising from the dead, and just offering me a free gift. Here, Frank, just trust me. I'll save you. I mean, that is such good news. How can I not want? How can I not go out and tell somebody about this? And if he wants to give me some rewards in the process, then it, it, I'm just going to just want to give it back to him because it's all because of him. That's what the Bible says. It says we're going to all cast our crowns at his feet because the glory really belongs to him. And the scripture says I can do nothing apart from him. And the Bible says I can do all things um, through him who strengthens me. So it's all... Um, his reward and it's it's all he gets all the glory. All right, well, we're going to make a little brief closing statement here. So think about something you might want to tell the people. But let me just tell everybody watching this video: uh, we've taken you from uh, birth to eternity. Uh, we think that uh, the whole course of your life, from your birth until you get your rewards, or if you don't get saved, you get sentenced to hell. Everything is covered in this series here. And uh, if you have any questions, I look forward to your questions and your comments. So I just say bless you in the name of Jesus. And Frank? I can have none of that. All right. Amen. Thank you, brother.